Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. I'm Brian Essek and I'm a flat rate automotive technician and I'm always looking for tools to make me that much more efficient and today I got one for you guys, so stay tuned for that. So the tool I got for you guys is made by Gripmat and then what they are is organizing trays that you use to put on your workspaces. You can put them on your mobile carts here and uh, put your tools and your parts and everything in here. And I'm gonna show you how I put these to work on a day-to-day -day basis to make my life better and to make me more efficient. So come with me and I'll show you how the grip mat works. The grip mat comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. You can get them individually or in a group pack like this. It's made of a non-magnetic silicone-based material. That way if you're doing any grinding or filing or anything, none of that material will stick to the mats and it's easily cleaned off. The different sizes come with different configurations for storing uh, parts and tools depending on what you're working on. So the mat is called a grip mat and the reason why is because it's designed to stay in place wherever you put it. If you put it on a flat surface it's designed to stick to the flat surface with the silicone based material. So if you were to put it on the cowling or the top of engine covers it's not going to slip and slide off and it's going to stay right in place. That way when you're using it in the fashion I'm using it here where I'm removing fasteners and putting them right into the organizing tray it's just going to speed up your workflow. So if you're just doing a quick little job like one coil on a spark plug this would be like a perfect little mat right here. You pull out the coil, spark plug, swap it out. If you're doing a larger job you may want to use the larger mat. So this also makes it a lot safer when you put your nuts and bolts and fasteners and tools on the grip mat instead of on a cowling or something like that where they can easily slip off and fall back into the engine bay. This gives it a secure place to put everything as you're working. As you can see here, I'm pulling the ignition coils out and I'm putting them in order, laying them out in order on the grip mat here and that's helping me keep everything going back to, together the exact way I took them apart. When you get paid by the jobs that you do, the more jobs you can bang out, the more money you'll make. And having something like this keeping you organized is going to definitely speed up your work pace and make life a lot easier and help you make a little bit more money every single day. So one other thing I noticed about using the grip mat is when you're working on vehicles that are lifted up in the air or higher where you have to step on a stool such as this, stand up in here and get up in the engine bay, it saved me a lot of energy because I didn't have to get up and down that step as often. I brought as many tools and things that I thought I would, I would need for this job, set them on top of the mat here, and as I took the fasteners in and out, I put them on the mat here. So that saved me steps of getting up and down, up and down, which in the long term saved me a lot of energy. And for me, that just turned out to be an added bonus that I didn't expect to have using the grip mat. So you can pile all your tools on the grip mat, carry it to the job site, and then use it. Or when you're done with the uh, job, you can just fold it up like this here. You'll see, just fold it up. Now all your tools are secure. Now you can move on to the next job. When you're done with everything, it's going to be dirty. You're going to put greasy t parts and tools on there. And to clean it up, all you use is mild soap and water. It's super simple. You just put a little bit on a rag like this, a little bit of water, rub it down, wash it down. Now the mats are chemical resistant, so if you get gasoline or you use brake clean on it, it's not going to damage the mats. The best way to clean them though is just mild soap and water, super easy. They're also heat resistant up to 500 degrees, so they're not going to melt if you put it on a hot surface. So if you're interested in a set of these grip mats, I will leave links for it down in the description of the video. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.